We are celebrating the art of tattoo and trying to bring together the fine art community and the tattooed community um, at RCC um, because so many of our students and our community are really have tattoos or interested in tattoos and body art's just part of the art world so we're trying to get our feet wet. We wanted to give our students an opportunity to be part of this in some way and explore designing a tattoo, what that means, and pos getting uh, professionals to see uh, see their work and um, get our students to think of things uh, outside the box. Always like dragons, uh, and this is honor and family. This is for my dog, the Phoenix, Ruger Phoenix. that I, I am partial to uh, my father's memorial. It's on my left shoulder. Um, it's uh, it's uh, a, a skull with uh, a cross double bitted axe, what we call, and a lightning bolt, and his name is at the top. Get a little um, stencil of a rose, rub charcoal on it, put Vaseline on my shoulder, slap it on, and he put his motor strapped with rubber band on his hand and the needle start <laughs> Um, the music notes um, is for my grandpa. He used to sing to me all the time, and he was definitely into jazz. And then the hummingbird is for my grandma. My very first tattoo I got as a totem. Uh, I was quite young when I had a vision in the sky I saw a medicine wheel. And when I turned of age I actually had that image emblazoned on my leg. 
when I was in Los Angeles on Sunset Boulevard, kind of as a lark, but it really gained significance um, over the years. It, it just re represented my childhood, it represented uh, my place in the universe in a way, as it was a medicine wheel. Then as I started to explore the tattoo arts, I started to collect tattoos as mementos for uh, things that were happening or had happened in my life. That phoenix goes from mm, all the way down the bottom of my rear end to the top. Um, and I had it put on me uh, sort of as a representation of falling apart and coming back together again. The symbol of the phoenix is to rise from the ashes. And um, I felt that was a powerful enough statement to uh, consume my entire back. I think everybody falls in love once in their life, or should fall in love once in their life, with that mad crazy love. The mad crazy love that takes you to a tattoo parlor to get matching tattoos. <clears throat> and you spend hours and hours designing your tattoos and what they mean to you and where you're going to put them with your beloved. But no tattoo person will tell you <clears throat> that it's the kiss of death, that you get a matching tattoo and probably within a year, that's it. Guaranteed. You're going to have that tattoo emblazoned wherever, across your face, you're crazy about so-and-so, and you're stuck with it. Uh, my name is Canyon Webb from Off The Map Tattoo. I've been a professional tattoo artist for seven years. And off the top of my head, this is my favorite tattoo. And it's done by my mentor, Jeff Gogley. My name is Jason Shad. The piece, I guess, that's on my head is probably one of the most uh, important pieces out of my collection, being that my body is, I would say, somewhere about 85% covered. Um, it's the one that stands out the most. It, uh, the reason for it being is that it, it took over uh, a period of my life where I, I, I transformed, if you will, uh, from leaving my past behind and kind of a new beginning. I had the opportunity to have it done by a legendary tattooer from San Francisco, California by the name of Rox, who is the owner and a tattooer at Two Spirit Tattoo. She was in the local area, the shop that I was working with at the time here in the local area of Grants Pass, Oregon. As a tattoo artist, I, if people come in and they like are on that crazy spin, like, think about it for a few days, really think about it, talk about it, get some sleep, you know, dream on it.